Hello guys, and welcome to this new Guns of Glory video. I'm happy to be your host today as we check together the newest guard features. Guards are strong and iconic characters that will join your estate and grant you great bonuses once they've been appointed to the right position. Each one is unique, and if used properly, can be a game changer in battle. With that said, let's get started. To begin with, I'll give you a brief introduction about this feature, and then we'll explain in more details how it works. The different guards and bonuses vary in range, so check in game if you'd like to know more details about their abilities. Just like your airship, these guards can level up in order to strengthen their actual bonus, and even unlock new ones. The difference with your airship is that they don't actually march into battle, their bonuses are applied globally to your citadel. Overall, the guard function can be described in three steps. Recruit your guard through the recruitment hall, level up your guards through the guard roster, appoint them to their position in the guard council. Guards come in three categories, regular, rare, and epic. Obviously, epic are the strongest. You will first need to recruit guards, the function is accessible in your citadel next to your bank in the new building called The Guard. Let's open the first tab. From this window, you will see three recruiting options, Apprentice, Advance, and Master. When you use the Apprentice, you will get one of the following, a regular guard, a guard fragment, or guard XP. The Advance, when used, will give you one of the following, a regular guard, a rare guard, a guard fragment, or guard XP. And finally, the Master will give you one of the following, a regular guard, a rare guard, an epic guard, a guard fragment, or guard XP. Please note the following information regarding guard recruitment. The master recruitment is unlocked after you've made your first purchase in the game. You need recruitment banners to use the master recruitment. After you have unlocked a guard, you will only receive fragments of this guard when using the recruitment hall. Now that you have unlocked one or more guards, let's check the roster tab to level them up. From the roster, you can see which guards you have unlocked. By tapping on their card, you will be able to increase their level with EXP cards and their prowess if you have enough guard fragments of that particular guard. So this is pretty straightforward. Leveling up guards will strengthen their main buff and increase their prowess will unlock new buffs. Now let's check the final and most important point of the feature, which is the Guard Council. This will let you appoint guards in strategic positions. From the last tab, you will be led to the Council. The Guard Council is composed of 8 positions which are unlocked at different castle levels. Guards can be appointed only in their specialist position. Select the position you wish to change and appoint the guard you wish. This is the most important part, because this is where you can choose which aspect you want to focus on. Depending on the situation, you might want to swap a guard in order to take advantage of something quickly, for example, reducing requirement for research. So I really suggest you know your hero roster well. That's it for this awesome new feature. I hope you will be able to master this and even have more fun. In the meantime, make sure to like and subscribe our YouTube channel, and I hope to see you in game soon.